All right, now let's begin. Uh, let's do the uh, where we left off yesterday. Yes. Where did we finish? The we have two two tips. I think maybe have another one. Uh, do you guys have the book yet? Yes. Yeah, did they send you the book? The link for the book? Uh, okay. I think uh, it it is a PDF. PDF, yes. Um, but it's, it's sent it in, from WhatsApp. Okay. There. I have it in this the, in the cell phone. That's good. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then okay. what I have for you guys, we're going to continue with the what we were working with yesterday. Victor, are you there? Can you hear? I can hear you. Excellent. So a very quick review. Yesterday we saw skill number one, focus on the last line. You remember what's the next one? What's skill number two? Look for synonyms. Yes. Oh, wow. What did I do? It's right here, right? Yes. Look for synonyms. Yes. And what's number three? Do you know? Let's Hi, Leslie. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, teacher. Hello, Leslie. Hi, how are you? Hola. Fine. And you? Perfect. We are ready to go. Okay, so number three. Avoid similar sounds. Yes, let's work on avoid similar sounds. This one right there. Often the incorrect answer, and this is key, the incorrect answer in the short dialogues answers contain words with similar sounds, but different meanings from what you hear on the recording. You should definitely avoid these answers. So avoid similar sounds. Example from the paper. On the recording you're going to hear why can Mark come with us? He was searching for a new apartment. Now focus on the last line. Keywords searching apartment. What does the woman say about Mark? Look for the answers, and if you see a similar sound, it's incorrect. So on the first one, he was in that department. There you go, that's our first similar sound. So that's no good. And then we have searching and research, another similar sound, so let's stretch that out. And then we have, he had an appointment at church. Appointment sounds like an apartment, Research and church on the same. Now you have three answers stretched off, and we have one that is untouched. Now we have uh, synonyms. 
apartment with place to live, searching, which is looking for. So on this example, we can find the answer with the skills number one, which is focus on the last line. Also, with the uh, skill number two, which is what looking is number two? Looking synonym. for a synonym. Yeah. Synonyms. And number three. Which is? Avoid similar sounds. Avoid similar sounds. There you go. And that's how we found our answer. So the answer is B. The strategy to avoid similar sounds is identify keywords in the last line of the dialogue identify words in the answers that contain similar sounds. All right. Is this uh, pretty clear? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> yes, perfect. So let's work on the exercise. Exercise B, a reading exercise. In this exercise, underline keywords in the last line of each short dialogue. Then underline words with sounds similar to those words in the answers. And choose the best answer to each question. You remember that the best answer is probably the answer that does not contain words with sounds that are similar. So let's begin by underlining the keywords in number one. What are the key words in the second line in the second line of dialogue? Doesn't have uh, a cent. Doesn't have a cent. There you go. So let's find similar sounds in the answers. What are the similar sounds? Um, she has no cent. A. Has no sense, and we scratch A. A is no good. What else? Send. Her friend. B. Her friend. B. And set B and 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 D. And send. B. So, I have a send. And set. The set, right? So D is stretched. What else? B, uh, send. send. Okay. So our answer is? C. Sally has no money. Sally man. has no money. And this is still focusing on the last line and finding synonyms and avoiding similar sounds, correct? Okay. Yeah, what about number two? What are the keywords? Lacked and money. Yes, and what are the similar sounds? A, locked. And yes, locked. B, looked. Locked. Looked. Mm. C, leaked. Maybe. Yeah, lit. And that's all. And that's it. And we have our answer. There you go. 
All right, now you guys, can you do number three? Guys? Yes, um, the maybe uh, sweet cases and porter maybe. So similar sound in A, A sweet cases, the same word, they need help going to A D. B, I think B, B. is correct. So B is the correct answer? Yes, B. Okay, now let's practice with a listening. Now begin the recording at vocal exercise. Now let's, let's work on the number one first, all together, yes? Let's listen and check that one out. Remember to avoid similar sounds. Uh, we need to mark mark them because I didn't remember how. I'm it sorry. Is. What? Uh, <laughs> for mark uh, to exercise mark three. Answer. Mm. Yes. Mark your answer. Yes. Uh, okay. Two options. Ah. Okay. Okay. Annotate. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm I'm ready. I think Victor's having problems with his internet. There is there he is. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. In this exercise. Listen carefully to the short conversation and question in the recording, and then choose the best answer to the question. You should be careful to avoid answers with similar sounds. Number one. How long until you'll be ready to leave? First, I need to water the grass. What does the woman mean? I'm sorry. Okay. I forgot. So which, which one has a similar sound? Uh, cash, for example, is similar to yeah, glass. Cash, similar sound. Uh, what else? A crash. Glass. Uh, glass. Uh, a crash. 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 Mm -hmm. So we have our uh, our trash. So the only one that doesn't have a similar sound. C. 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 And that is our correct answer. Yes? Okay. All right. Now, listen to all of them. Yes? Do you listen and mark your answers? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. We're ready. Number two. Do you think I should buy this sweater? But it doesn't really seem to fit right. What does the woman mean? Number three. Is Walter's job near here? Walter's been commuting to Boston on a regular basis. What does the man say about Walter? Number four. Did Bob memorize every detail in the chapter? He wasn't able to master the lesson. What does the man say about Bob? Number five. It's so sad. 
what happened to the animals. Yes, it is. Whenever there's a forest fire, many animals die. What does the woman mean? Number six. Do you want to take a look in the store? You bet. The shoes are on sale for $20 a pair. What does the man mean? Number seven. Why didn't Tom come with us this afternoon? He was attending a required biology lab. What does the man mean? Expecting something important. Why is the man waiting? Number nine. You think it'll rain today? I heard on the news that a bad storm is heading in. What does the man mean? Number 10. Is there any way I could help you with dinner? Would you mind chopping vegetables for salad? What does the man ask the woman? Perfect. So you have your similar sound. Now, let's check. You want to check the answers? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> All right, number two. That is A. Number three. That is D. Number four. B. Number five. D. Number six. C. Number seven, C. Number eight, D. Number nine, A. And number 10, C. Now, check it out. Okay. Okay, Victor? Yes, okay. All right, good. Now, this was exercise three. So now we are going to do an exercise of all of them. Okay. Yeah. An exercise of all the skills. The skills one, two, three. So on this section, you are going to pay attention with a skill number one, a skill number two, and a skill number three. Which ones are they? Do you remember? Yes, uh, focus in the second line. Okay, avoid, no. <laughs> yes, avoid yes. similar zones and uh, Look for synonyms. Yes. Yes, and look for synonyms. All right. Uh, you want to do the first one together? Yes. TOEFL exercise skills one through three. In this exercise, Listen carefully to the short conversation and question in the recording, and then choose the best answer to the question. Number one. Let's stop and get something to drink. 
Some coffee would be nice. What does the man mean? What is the answer for number one? C. Letter C. And how did you find it? With uh, skill number one, two, or three? I think, uh, okay. yes, to, to avoid similar sounds, skill, yes. Perfect, so, yes. Now, uh, is this uh, helping you in, uh, a little bit? Yes, yes. Yes, Victor? Maybe in this uh, question is, uh, are the two skills? Well. Oh, thank you. Victor, your internet is a little slow. Can you hear us okay? I hope so. I have to check the internet. Yes. Okay. Now let's continue. We're going to do all of them. All of them now. Are you ready? Yes. What does the woman mean? Number three. I have trouble sleeping at night. You could try counting sheep. What does the woman suggest to the man? Sorry, we don't hear a number two. Huh? Yeah. Number two. Uh... Number four. Have you heard that the department is changing the graduation two, requirements? Okay. For a walk in the park. No, not today. It's too cloudy and cold. What does the woman mean? <laughs> this thing is. For a walk in the park. No. TOEFL exercise skills one through three. In this exercise, Listen carefully to the short conversation and question in the recording, and then choose the best answer to the question. Number one. Let's stop and get something to drink. Some coffee would be nice. What does the man mean? Number two. Let's go for a walk in the park. No, not today. It's too cloudy and cold. What does the woman mean? Number three. I have trouble sleeping at night. You could try counting sheep. What does the woman suggest to the man? Number four. Have you heard that the department is changing the graduation requirements for our major? Yes, and I just can't believe it. What does the man mean?
Number five. I think we're going to be here for a while. But we've been standing in line for almost an hour. What does the woman mean? Number six. The conductor is coming down the aisle. Yes, he's collecting the train fare from the passengers. What is happening? Number seven. Have you heard about the new management training program? It will start later this week. What does the man mean? Number eight. Does anyone know where the fire got started? It must have started in the attic. What does the woman mean? Number nine. Aren't you going to tell me exactly what happened? I assumed that you already knew the truth. What does the man mean? Number 10. Have you seen any of the sketches Dave did for his art professor? I've seen some of them, and they were fantastic. What does the woman say about Dave? All right, guys. So let's check it out. You won the answers, right? Yes. Okay, for one, it's C. Number two is A. Number three is B. Number four is D as well. Number five is A. Number six is D. Number seven is B. D. Number eight is C. Number nine is C. And number 10 is B. There you go. Now, how did you do? Uh, <laughs> I think it's okay. <laughs> Are you doing okay? Yes. How many out of 10? Did you get seven uh, out of 10? I think eight point. Eight, okay, that's really good. What about you, Victor? How many did you get? Victor, are you there? What about Leslie? Leslie, how many did you, did you get? Six. You got six. Okay, that's good. So are you using the strategies, guys? Yes. Maybe, maybe you understand okay. some of the story. Maybe you understand what's going on. But for you to go faster and to answer more questions, besides understanding, you can use the strategies. Right, so you don't uh, spend a lot of time reading everything. The strategies will help you find the correct answer. It will help if you don't stop to read because then is when you get a little behind and start getting uh, stuck. Okay. Okay. Yes? 
All right, let's continue. Do you have any questions so far? Uh, no, I think no. No, Leslie, no, Thanks. Victor? No. Victor, do you have any questions? Let's continue. Okay, so this is the end. This, we were supposed to finish this yesterday. Now let's uh, move on with the next, the next set of three. Uh, skills four to six. Okay. There, we have listening skills, four to six. And, and let's go with the word, number four. The skill four is who, what, and where. All we have to do is to draw conclusions about who, what, and where. It is common that in short dialogues to ask you to draw some kind of conclusion. In this type of question, the answer is not clearly stated. Yeah, the answer is not clear. Instead, you must draw a conclusion based on the clues given in the dialogue. One kind of conclusion that is common in this part of the test is to ask you to determine who the speaker is based on the clues given in the dialogue. So we have an example. On the recording you will hear, can you tell me what assignments I missed when I was absent from your class? The question on the man says, you missed one homework assignment and a quiz. The question is, who is the man? And then on the result, on the answers you're going to have, a newspaper editor, a police officer, a teacher, and a student. So we have the clues that have class, and we have homework and quiz in the dialogue. So the man is probably a teacher. A teacher. Correct? Okay. Victor? Okay, cheers. Yes, perfect. So next, another type of conclusion that is common in the short dialogues is to determine what will probably happen next based on the clues. So now we have what. On the recording, you will hear, are you going to read those books in the library? I think I'd rather check them out and take them home. What will the man probably do next? So the keyword is next. So we have the, the answers. What is he going to do? Sit down, look for, return, or go to the in the second line which he says I think I'd rather take them out now and take them home this is an affirmative sentence it's a positive sentence and it says home With that clue, we know he's not going to sit down. He's not going to look for more books. And he's not talking about returning nothing, right? So the what is, is more likely going to go to the circulation desk. Now, what is the circulation desk, guys? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what yes, yes, that's right. What do you think, Victor? What is the circulation desk? I think that this uh, desk of the library. 
Yeah, maybe the desk of the library, right? But we don't know what it is. All we know is that if he is going to take books home, books home, then he's not going to sit down at the library. He's not going to look for more books. And he's not going to return books, right? So our answer is circulation desk. Correct? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Now, a final type of conclusion that is common is where. Now we have a where. On the recording, you will hear. Are you going to the water, or are you just going to lie there on the sand? Man, I think I need to put on some sunken lotion. Where does this conversation probably take place? In the answers we have, a beauty salon, a beach, in a sandbox, and at an outdoor restaurant. Our keywords right here are sand, water, and sun tan lotion. So where can we use those things? At the beach. At the beach. beach. On the beach. Yes, which is letter B. B. Right? Perfect. Next, conclusions about who, what, and where. It is common that you, it is common for you to be asked to draw one of the following conclusions in short dialogue. Who is talking? What will she or he probably do next? And where does the dialogue probably take place? So these are the questions that are the most common on the top of the list. Who, what, and where? Any questions? No. No. So we have the first exercise. In this exercise, Read each short dialogue and question and underline the clues to help you answer the question. Go ahead, guys. You can work as a team. Yeah, Sule, Leslie, and Victor, work as a team. Let's find the answers. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm, uh, I began to market. Oh, what happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the internet. <laughs> internet is a little bad. <laughs> We began to, 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 to read or yes, mark? Mark, mark, mark? Yes, find answers and mark them, please. Okay, uh, so um, I'd like to deposit this check in my account, please. Would you like any cash back? Uh, who is the woman? Okay, I think it's... I, well, uh, my mark. There you go. Let it be. What about number two? Uh, okay. Um, have you, do you want to read, <laughs> Leslie? <laughs> have you deposited your paycheck yet? No, but that's next on my list of earnings. What will the man probably the next? Mm. 
let's go to Jesus, do you want to read or? Okay. Did you get the bread, eggs and meat? Uh, now we need to stand in line at the checkout counter. Where does this conversation probably take I place? have internet, uh, low internet. Are you guys doing okay? Uh, yes. Uh, I am, but uh, I don't know. Leslie, uh, Jesus? Yes, yes, I am here, sir. I have internet problems. <laughs> yeah, my internet is really bad right now. It's raining really heavy over here. What about over there in your house? No, uh, here it's not raining. It's no. okay. What about you, Leslie and you, Victor? In my mm -hmm. house, it's raining. Yes. When it rains, the internet in my house gets really slow. I don't know why. Sometimes I don't hear any. <laughs> uh, we are in the question three, Victor. If you want to read, read them, read, read that. The, the three? Yes. Yes. Did you get the bread, eggs, and milk? Now we need to stand in line at the checkout counter. Where does this conversation probably take place? Uh, a. The answer is A, I think. I think it's in America. Um, I think. Or in about. All right, guys, are you finished? Yes. Perfect, let's check it out. So great. Number one, who is the woman? Bank teller. What will the man probably do next? Go to the bank. Where does this conversation take place? In the market. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, exercise four. Listen carefully and choose the best answer. Draw conclusions from who, what, and where. Are you ready? Yes. 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 TOEFL exercise four. In this exercise, listen carefully to the short conversation and question in the recording, and then choose the best answer to the question. 
you will have to draw conclusions about who, what, and where. Number one. I didn't bring my laboratory manual today. You can share mine. Today we're conducting the experiment on photosynthesis, and we can work together. Where does this conversation probably take place? Number two. This is Flight 707, requesting permission to land. Flight 707, you are cleared for landing. Who is the man? Number three. You want to do the dishes now or later? I'd rather put them off as long as possible. What will the man probably do? Number four. How much of a tip should I leave? Oh, a dollar's plenty. The service wasn't very good. Where does this conversation probably take place? Number five. Can I pick up my shoes on Tuesday? I need them for a party that night. They should be fixed by then. Who is the man? Number six. Did you get pictures of the lions? Yes. And now let's go to the other side of the park. I want to see the exotic birds. Where does this conversation probably take place? Number seven. Could you put the letters in the pending file now? Yes, then I can answer them tomorrow. What will the woman probably do tomorrow? Number eight. The lights are flashing and everyone's going in. We should take our seats now before the second act starts. Where does this conversation probably take place? Number nine. Have you responded to Bob's dinner invitation yet? I'll take care of it right away. What will the man probably do next? Number 10. Can you fill this prescription for me? If you leave the prescription, I can have it filled in about 10 minutes. Who is the woman? I'm sorry, guys. How was it? Easy or difficult? Mm, this time I think was a little uh, more easy. <laughs> a little easier. Yes. All right. So number so. one is B. Number two is A. Number three is B. Number four, B. Number five. Number six, C. Number seven, A. Number eight, C. Number nine, C. And number ten, A. Okay, so how did you do? 
Are we doing okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's going to get better as we practice more, okay? Yes. Do you have any questions? No. No. Next. Now, listen for who and what, but in passive. Do you know what's a passive? Yes, Guys? it's a, it's a order of a sentence. Okay. Uh, what about you, Eric? I'm sorry, Victor. Are you familiar with passive? Victor, what about you, Leslie? Okay. It is sometimes difficult to understand who or what is doing the action in a passive sentence. This problem is often tested in the short dialogues. On the recording you hear, did Sally go to the bank this morning? Yes, she did. She got a new checking account. What does the woman imply? All right, in the answer, we have, the correct answer will be in passive. The woman implies, not that Sally wrote several checks, because she got a new checking account. So it's not several checks. Sally wanted to check up on the bank. Hmm. These are similar sounds. That's not correct. A new checking account was open. There you go. Now we have a sentence in the passive that is referring to the correct answer. And Sally checked. We have again a similar sound. So the correct answer is C. A new checking account was open, and that is a passive. Okay. Now, this is the chart of the the following about passive sentences in the short dialogues. The passive statements in the dialogue contains a passive statement. The answer to the question is often in an active statement. If the dialogue contains an active statement. The answer to the question is often a passive statement. Be careful who or what is doing the action in these questions. Now, reading exercise. Okay. In this exercise, each of the correct answers is either a passive or an active sentence. Read it, short dialogue, and underline the key active or passive statement. Then read the question and choose the best answer to the question. All right, go ahead, guys. Let's do one, two, three. Okay. Uh, we do it together or? Yes, do it together. Yeah. Okay, I, I begin to, to read. Alice sure. needs to pay her tuition today, but her tuition has already been paid. What does the money imply? Mm, Alice's education has paid off. Alice's tuition needs to be paid. Alice has already paid her fees. Alice has already received the money. Uh, 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 I think it's C. Oh. talk to each other guys you can work as a team oh, okay and, um, and share your answers why
Okay, I think. <laughs> uh, hmm. It's okay, you can continue with number two. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think it's that. You ready, guys? So let's yes. take a look. So number one, her tuition has already been paid. This is a passive sentence, so more likely it's going to be in an active. And they are all active, right? Alice education has paid off. Alice tuition needs to be paid. Alice has already her fees. So here we have with a synonym and avoiding similar sounds. Yes. Yes. And we go from a passive statement that's passive and this is an active statement. Yes. Number two. Have you been taking good care of the lawn? I watered it only this morning. What does the woman mean? The lawn has already been watered today. Yes, perfect. And number three, did you hear the news about the child who was lost in the park? Yes, and I heard that she was just found. What does the woman mean? Someone located the girl. Perfect, good job. And how are we doing, guys? Looking for the passive, similar sounds, avoiding uh, looking for synonyms. What yes. are you using? Uh, all of them. But all I, of them. <laughs> I have a doubt here in number one because Alice has already paid. Uh, sounds uh, similar. Similar has already been paid. Yes, they use the so same. I yeah. I doubt. But you doubted it. Yes. But it's okay. Yes, I think we need to think in all. <laughs> yes, yes, Nothing. and we're practicing. Yes. All right, let's go for the next one. Are you ready? Okay. Now what we're going to do is listen and practice. Yes? Now this is exercise five. Here you're going to do uh, use uh, skill number five. What is the skill number five? Uh, who okay, draw, draw, draw conclusions. Who, yeah. where? Who what? and that in the passive, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, listen and check.
TOEFL Exercise 5. In this exercise, listen carefully to the short conversation and question in the recording, and then choose the best answer to the question. You should be particularly careful of passives. Number one. Would you like to go to the new restaurant on the corner? Is that the one that serves the vegetarian food? What does the woman want to know? Number two. Has Harry heard from the law school yet? Yes, he was admitted by the law school for the fall semester. What happened to Harry? Number three. Mark said that you were a lot of help. Well, I took care of his plants while he was out of town. What does the woman mean? Number four. Do you know what happened during the lightning storm? Yes, several trees were destroyed. What does the man mean? Number five. Did you see Sally? Her legs in a cast. Yes, I know. She told me that she broke her leg skiing in the mountains. What happened to Sally? Number six. The horses are not in very good shape now. They were ridden too long and too hard. What does the man mean? Number seven. Why didn't you order coffee? I thought it had already been ordered. What does the man mean? Number eight. How are your friends going to get home from the airport after their trip? Their car was left in the airport lot. What does the woman mean? Number nine. Has the class chosen a representative? The other students appointed Matt class representative. What does the woman mean? Number ten. Wasn't the building damaged in the earthquake? Yes, it was. And when this happened, the inhabitants were paid by the insurance company. What does the man mean? All right, guys, how did you do? Mm, I think okay. Yes, perfect. So let's check the answers, yes? So number one is B. Number two, say five. B. Number three, A. Number four, B. Number five, C. Number six, C. 
Okay. Number seven. C. Number eight. B. Number nine. D. And number ten. D. There you go. Okay. How are you guys doing? Are we doing yes. okay? Uh, seven correct answers. Seven correct answers, good. What about you guys? Okay, would you like to go on to the next slide now? Yes. Now we're going to work with six. Listen for who, what, with multiple nouns. What's a noun, guys? Do you know what is a noun? It's a part of the principal substantivos. Yes, that's what it is. Okay, perfect. This will play the role of a, of a subject or an object. Yes. Yes. So when there is more than one noun in a sentence, in the short dialogues, it is common for the answer to confuse which noun does what. Does that sound familiar? Confuse which noun does what. It is very common. Okay. Yes. So what we have here on the example, do you know who is in the band now? I heard that Mara replaced Robert in the band. What does the woman say about the band? Okay, that sounds easy, but when you look at the answers and then you begin to get confused. Okay, it says Robert became a new member of the band or Robert took Mara's place, or Mara didn't have a place, or Mara took Robert's place. So we have here two nouns, Mara and Robert. So what did they do? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we have here Mara replace Robert, This means that Mara took a place. So the answer is D. Correct? Correct. Correct. And okay. then we have here this little explanation. Who and what with multiple nouns? When there are multiple nouns in a sentence, it is common for the answers to confuse which noun does what. So when you have multiple nouns, you have to be careful with the answers. Because maybe the story is easy but the answers will confuse you. So let's have an, a reading exercise. In this exercise, underline the confusing nouns. Let's see, Leslie, can you, give me a, can you help me, Leslie? Yes, leo right. la primera. Uh, uh, can you underline the nouns in number one? Underline the nouns. Can you do that, Leslie? Monday. Can you do that? Can you underline the nouns? Yes? Or you can't do it in your cell phone? Are you in the cell phone or a computer? Yeah, uh, it's the cell phone. Cell phone. Can you underline the nouns? Or is it complicated for your cell phone? 
Yes. Yes. What about you, Sule? Can you underline the nouns? Yes. Ah, sorry. Um, I need to. Okay. Bill. Bill is one. Yes. Okay. And he's his doctor. Well, that's is not, <laughs> but. Okay. Not important. There you go. So there you go. You have two did not know what's already. Nouns are the same. Identify nouns are. We have here builder, common. Sorry about that, guys. My internet is really bad. Can you hear me? Yes. Guys, yes. can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hello? Hello. 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 All right. Bye. So, in this particular sentence, be is the same as him. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. yes, we can see you. We can see the, the, the text display. of. No? No. Hello? The picture is off? Oh. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 The internet is really. Let's try to finish. I hope this let me finish. Okay. So here we have the multiple nouns. We have Bill and we have his doctor. Yes. And the question is what does a woman mean? And we have the answers. So the, the doctor decided that doctor told Bill Bill was mad or Bill took a vacation. So who does what? The, yes, the doctor Bill took he took a vacation on his vacation. Okay. Yes, it is B. What about number two? 
It's the opposite meaning, no? Oh, I think. In which one, number one or two? And number uh, uh, B, B uh, the, the question one. Question okay. one? Yeah, number... Uh, Letter D, no? Letter D. This is the easy. Yeah. Okay, what about number two? Ladies? Okay. What's the uh, answer number two? Why Paul? is Paul, Paul back home Paul's this sister summer? is coming to his wedding in Vermont. What does a woman mean? See. Si. Yes, it is actually see. Si. Really good. That was perfect. Now the last one. Number three. A. D. What is it? D. A. His son was named beneficiary of his uncle's will. A. So is A. John received an inheritance. Inheritance is, is what is what is it? Herencia. Mm. Okay. And will is testament. And in this one, we can see beneficiary, benefit, yes, uh, uncle's will, his uncle will, yes, John's uncle gave him a beneficial, so that one is stretched too. So with similar sounds, we have an answer, yes? The answer yes. could be correct, the, the D. What? Because the answer could be correct, also D, because the John's uncle gave him the beneficial. Beneficial? A beneficial? Uh, uh, it's because, you, Victor, you don't see... Uh, the, the last one. Benef mm -hmm. Yes, the last the, the word, beneficial uh, name. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, because uh, I can see beneficial too, but there, there, another, okay. there is another word. Mm -hmm. A beneficial yes. name. I haven't seen the name. Okay, now let's uh, work on the next exercise. Okay. You do this or is it too late? Uh, you want to do it or you want to do it tomorrow? Well, we can do, I don't know, what What do you think, Leslie and Victor? <laughs> um, okay, I hear more, more or less now. Right now? Okay. Right yes. Now. Right now. There you go. TOEFL Exercise 6 In this exercise, listen carefully to the short conversation and question in the recording and then choose the best answer to the question. You should be particularly careful of who is doing what. Number 1. The passenger arrived in a taxi. Yes, and then she had the taxi driver wait at the corner. What does the woman mean? Number two. Did you go to the concert last night? Yes, it was great. And I got to hear Jane play the harp. What does the woman mean?
Number three. Did the children like the new babysitter? Not really, because she made them go to bed early. What does the man mean? Number four. Why is that man throwing the ball so carefully? He is tossing the ball to his young son. What does the woman say about the father and son? Number five. Did the professor tell her students about the lecture this evening? Yes, she directed her students to attend it. What does the woman mean? Number six. I cannot find the clerk. The floor manager sent him back to the supply room. What happened, according to the man? Number seven. Will the students be able to get hold of the books that they need? The librarian had them reserve the books for two days. What does the man mean? Number eight. Were elections held last night as scheduled? Yes, and the board elected Tony chairman for another year. What does the woman mean? Number nine. At the trial, the defendant was found guilty. Yes, the judge called the defendant a murderer. What does the man mean? Number 10. Have the names of the new committee members been announced? Congratulations. You've been appointed to serve on the committee. What does the man mean? All right, guys. How are you doing? Okay. Fantastic. Good. All right. So let's take the answers. Yes. Number one is C. Number two is B. Number three, B. Number four is B. Number five, C. Number six, C. Number seven, C. Number eight, is D. Number nine, C. And number 10, D. All right, so how did you do? Mm, fine, I, I, I make two mistakes, but okay. it was difficult. <laughs> was it difficult? And you oh, got no, okay. eight? That is good. If you have eight, that is really good. What about you guys? Sometimes the audio is very uh, is faster. And <laughs> yes, it seems that way. Oh, it's and fast. And I am not concentrate. 
Uh, it's, oh, <laughs> what happened? Yes, that's the training. That's where you need to practice to, to answer fast, you know, to pay attention, to use the strategies and the techniques so you can get your answer as fast as you can and get, this is good, okay? To have eight correct is what you want. Remember, you won't, uh, you don't want a hundred percent. You don't need it, okay? This is not a real number to get a 100% on the count. But to get 80%, that is impressive. That is a very good number. So if you have eight correct, that is awesome. If you got seven or six, it's good. Okay. And if you got four or five, then we need to start working more on, this, on the techniques and the strategies. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, Victor? Okay. Yes? All right. How was the class? Uh, it was, it was okay. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I'm sorry? Yes, Except for the internet, huh? Yes, I know. So tomorrow we'll do this. It skills four to six, and then it skills one to six. Okay. Yes? Yes. All right, guys. I hope it, this was a, a helpful class. I hope you did manage to learn some new things, and I hope they helped you. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. Okay. Thank you very much for attending, and I will see Thank you tomorrow. You. Thank you. See you. See you. Bye, guys. Bye. Good Have a good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night.